Hello everyone, this is me, Sabia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read, which is going to be for whoever needs it. Topic, re uh, topic of the reading is, um, will they ever come back to you or not? If you are dealing with a breakup, and you really wonder if your person will ever come back to you or not, this reading will help you know that. It's going to be a quick read, so we're not going to be pulling out many cards here. So, yeah, just be mindful. It's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see. Will they ever come back to you? Yes or no? Will they ever come back to you? The Hierophant. Queen of Wands, Five of Cups. Now, I really feel like, you know, your person has liked you a lot. Like, you know, they, they enjoyed what you shared together. But at the same time, I really feel like, you know, the fear they cannot give you the happiness or the commitment that you want. So, which is the reason why they would never feel like coming back to you on their own. Especially when, when um, you know, you have been asking for commitment, marriage, relationship, which lasts forever. I really feel like, you know, this person cannot offer you that. Which is the reason why, um, you know, they... they, they might have ended things at first place um they, you might be dealing with a person who is in a third body situation for some of you probably their family is the reason probably there are like people who are influencing their life it can be them having kids with another person as well which could also be blocking this person to take action towards you even though they have love for you but they are going to disappoint you because uh, they you know they claim to love you but at the same time they don't feel like taking action towards you they are sad they're upset but I really don't see this person taking action. This person really likes you. They like your vibe. They like your, you know, everything. But they don't like you enough where they would leave all and everything and come back to you. I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, if there will be like a communication coming in, um, it will be probably just for, for things to go the way they are or they have been. You know, they would not commit to you. They would not give into the connection with you. For some of you, there could have been differences of... Uh, um, you know, a uh, religious or uh, religion or something like that, which could also be the reason why they would think like, you know, what's the point when we could not make things next level, go next level. And I really feel like, you know, which is the reason why they are not coming back already. I really feel like, you know, this person might take time for some of you, uh, you know, after, after a few maybe months or years, probably they will change their mind. Probably they will feel like strong enough to talk about things openly and, you know, own the connection. But as of now, and as of like, you know, what I can see, as far as what I can see, I really don't see this person, uh, you know, coming back to you uh, to offer anything, anything stable. Let's see more cards here. Will they be coming back to you? I really feel like, you know, for the majority of you, this person um, will take time, but... the time is going to be longer than what you would ever wish to give to this person because this person is going to be like i feel like you know for some of you you might have been having on and off because of the same reason because they were not giving into the connection the way you desire you know they they claim they love you they claim that they have feelings for you but at the same time they they cannot promise you anything but uh, but just you know having the connection what they what they give and offer you so I really don't see this connection to be going anywhere like, you know, where you want it to go. But this person would be a good partner in terms of uh, they, they can be a good friend. But um, at the same time, I really feel like you know, this person really want this connection to be more than just friends. But at the same time, without having any commitment given to you, they really want to be like, um, I really see this person wasting your time and energy by by telling you that they love you. But then with, the, with their actions, they're they really don't show that at all so i really feel like you know this person is somebody who is um, manipulative in a way i would say because i really see this person to be taking your time and you know putting you on hold putting your love life on wait and then doing nothing that they should be doing i really feel like you know they they, they keep telling you that i will one day marry you i will day um you know one day i will i will i will change and i will be able to kind of like you know um 
take stand for you or for the connection just stick around just stick around but i really feel like you know um they they, they don't they don't do that for some of you, you might have pulled away because of that maybe you 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 were the one who ended the connection because they were just wasting your time uh deep down they know you know probably until unless they take solid actions here nothing is going to change so i really feel like you know your person is hiding things they're not being honest with you or about their intentions about what they can offer to you they 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 just keep you hanging in there for for them and you know i really don't see this connection to be healthy in many different ways because i really see this person making you feel lack of happiness lack of love and keeping you stuck at the same time so it's it's not a very healthy situation here because i really feel like you know for majority of you you're going to start feeling like you know you are wasting your life uh, on a wrong person so i really don't see this to be um um you know um desirable situation for majority of you, I really feel like you, know, you would choose to move on because I really see that even if this person comes back in your life, they will have nothing to, good to offer. So they they might talk to you, they might communicate with you, but nothing uh, would be what you expect out of it to be. So I really feel like you know this person is definitely going to be wasting your time and uh, you know going to give you nothing of what you desire and seek within this relationship. Let's see some guidance for you. Let's see what shall you be uh doing in the given situation what is the oracle guidance for you let's tap into that what is the oracle guidance for you let's see what is the divine message for you what is the divine message for you so we have two cards here I want to be a queen, starting your sovereignty, declaring freedom, passing a test. Then we do have impossible things, working through disbelief, imaginative leaves, fresh perspective. The divine really wants you to do one thing. Wow. Only the deck we do have do not drink poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you. So being on the waiting side for this person, for some of you, or in fact for majority of you, you know is bad for you because it's it's toxic. It's you, especially if this person is in a third party situation, I really feel like you know, it's going to be hard for you to live the life that you are living right now in, in coming days to weeks time as well. Uh, things are going to get worse. Um, this person is right now in no contact situation with you, which also, um, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, amplify the feeling of not having the happiness that you desire. I really feel like, you know, um, with, with this all going on, where maybe you are having no on and off, maybe you're like, you know, uh, stop talking to each other and then you you come back together think, hoping thinking like you know things would change but it's it's more than enough i really feel like you, know, you might have given a lot of time and energy into this connection with this person it's time for you to um you know if you really want to be loved and treated like a queen or a king you have to take action you have to declare freedom from any unhealthy relationship that you might be dealing with right now and start believing that everything beautiful can happen with you you have to stop expecting wrong uh expecting uh right things from a wrong person and i really feel like you know you just have to start looking at your love life from a fresher perspective where you change yourself to this person and change your perspective change your you know for majority of you you're waiting for love to come through the from this person from this connection it's time for you to broader that you know um that that uh spectrum through which you can receive love so i really feel like you know you are blocking your path right now by holding on to this person it's time for you to set yourself free because you are drinking poison knowing that it is poison knowing that this person is not healthy and uh, this connection is not healthy you're still sticking on to it or holding on to it that is something where you have to stop you know uh, doing uh, wrong to yourself and uh, try to move on move past this person and this energy uh, so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like share and subscribe and if you are willing to purchase any of the services that I offer check description box for that till I do the next read for you guys take care bye